It's nice to see you back for our hands-on session on combining data sets in Stata. Merging and appending data is a very frequent task you will encounter, and getting this right the first time saves you a lot of headaches. From our data preparation tutorial, we remember the data set on the ice cream data. It contains information about the sale of ice creams in different locations and the corresponding customer information. Now I have opened, let's say, a new ice cream parlor in the suburb. And for this new ice cream parlor, I now have additional data, which you can see here. It has the same variables on the location and the ice cream sold and the customer information. And I want to add this new data at the bottom of my existing spreadsheet. In addition, I also obtain from, let's say, the municipality information about the population density in each district, in the city center, the park, the train station, and the suburb. And for my analysis, it would be really interesting to add this population density data to my existing data set. Now, let's get started and do this whole combination of data sets in Stata. I begin by opening the corresponding combining data sets do file. And this do file is very similar to our previous do files. So it contains, again, everything as annotated code, which is green. And we start by first clearing status memory and then using the set off command so that all the output is shown. As before, I then set the current directory to the location where all my data sets are stored. And then I can start preparing the data. The first step is to convert all of the Excel spreadsheets into status internal DTA spreadsheet format, which is necessary for merging and appending data. Otherwise, you will not be able to combine these data sets in the first place. So let's do this. We already know the commands. It's import Excel. And I add the clear option each time because when I open a data set and save it, then I need to empty the memory before I can load the next data set. That's why we have this option after each import command. And running this works like a dream. We now have all the Excel spreadsheets in our current directory as a DTA file. Now I can move on to the next step, which is to combine the data sets. Now, one question that you may have is whether you should append or merge first. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense to append the data first because then we have all the suburb data and then merge my population density data, which also uh, contains the population density for the suburb, to that combined appended data set. So that's what we're gonna do. We first need to specify our master data set, which is the main data set to which all the other variables and observations should be added. And that is our ice cream data. So let's use this ice cream data and remember to add the clear option. And then we should be able to append our new suburb data. The command is append using and then the name of the data set. So let's run this command. What I see is that I get an error message, namely that the variable income is string in the master, but an integer in the using data set. What does that specifically mean? Remember that in our Excel spreadsheet with the ice cream data, we had a few missing variables or observations for our income variable. These were coded as an A. Consequently, Stata saved this variable as a string variable. In contrast to this, our new suburb data also contains the income variable, but it doesn't have any missing values. So all these values are stored as numerical values in Stata. And this creates a mismatch between these two observations. Now, Stata already proposes a solution, which is to use the force option to ignore this problem. So let's try this out and add force and see what happens. So I'm now using the force option and I'm now going to open my data editor by clicking on this magnifying glass with a spreadsheet. And well, first of all, it looks all fine. We have our original data set here with the income data. 
And let's scroll further down where our suburb data starts. And here comes a bad surprise. All the observations for my income are empty, even though I clearly had observation for observations for income for the suburb data. What happened? Well, because there was a mismatch between the string variable and the numerical variable, Stata used the format of the master data set and then overrode or ignored all the observations that didn't conform to the format of the master data set, which then resulted in all these missing values. Of course, this data loss is something we would want to avoid. Now, how can we solve this problem? Well, one solution you already know from our data preparation tutorial, we could simply destring the values in our master data set prior to appending the using data set. I want to show you another possibility, which is basically the opposite of using destring, namely this to string command. So I go back to my Excel import files where I add my suburb data. And I now add the to string option or command for my income variable, which will result in converting that numerical variable into a string variable. So let's run this command and uh, take a quick look what happens when we execute this. Now, in this case, we now have a string variable as well for our income variable. So this is very handy. And we can now go back to our do file and then open our ice cream data again and try to append the data. And this time it worked and we can even remove the force option. So if I remove that force option again, which I probably should do, I can now rerun this, use my ice cream data and append the using data set, the new suburb data. And let's take a look how it appears now. Well, the front end is the same as before. Let's scroll down to the suburb data. And well, luckily we now have retained all the variable information for income and is also a string variable now. Of course, what you could now do is if you're interested in having a numerical value is to destring this variable of this appended data set. But now we have retained the full information, including also observations that were coded as NA in our combined data set. Next on is merging data sets. We already have our population density data. And in this uh, spreadsheet, we have information on how many people live in each of the locations. Now, ideally, I should be able to merge this. I use an M to one merge. Why is this the case? Well, simply because we have a many to one relationship. There are lots of repeated observations on the location. So we have several times city center and park and train station and suburb. And one of the data sets should have a unique identifier. So the population density only appears once for each location in our using data set. So this is an important issue that you usually want to find a merge where there's a one unique identifier in one of the data sets and the other one can then be a many observation data set so that you use either a one to many or a many to one as in our case a match. And I want to add the population data set. So after the using um, specification, I add population data, which I created above. So let's run uh, this command again, merge the data, and I get an error, which is the variable location was not found. Well, that's weird. Let's take a look. Um, I'm first going to open my ice cream data. Well, clearly the variable location exists, so this can be the problem. And um, then the problem must lie with our population data. And what I see is, well, we have the location, but the variable is called district rather than location. Well, let's try to fix this problem by um, renaming this variable first. Let's go back to our data do file. And I'm going to rename the district to location in my suburb data. So this is something 
that I can do here, my population data. So I'm simply adding this command, rename district to location. I rerun this command here so that um, we have this update. And then we should be able to merge it. So I need to rerun my use master data set so that I get the right data set into my memory and then append my previous data set and the merge command should now work. Well, it looks good, so I don't get an error message anymore. What I see here from this output is that there are few observations that were not merged. So there are no matches for quite a lot of observations, namely uh, 42 observations were not matched. Well, we can check this if we go to our um, data editor and it has created a new variable for the successful and unsuccessful merges at the very end of the data set. Well, the first set was all merged, but then we see that here we have a lot of missing values where these apparently don't have a corresponding match in our using data set. So here for the suburb data, somehow this data could not be matched. Let's scroll further down. Maybe we find any clue as to what might have happened. We see again in the using data set, there was something also that was not matched. Let's look at this. And when we look at this closely, we see that there is a spelling mistake. Suburb is spelled with two Bs, whereas in our using or in our master data set, it is only spelled with one B. So we should probably correct the spelling error prior to merging. So let's do that. And uh, that's also a very frequent error that you will encounter when merging data set that variables are not named exactly the same in both data sets or have other problems. So I'm going to now replace these uh, observations in my suburb data. So let's add this command here, rename the district location here. And I should of course not add it to my suburb data, but rather to my population data. So in the wrong place initially, but now it's correct. I import uh, this spreadsheet again, and then I can uh, now, so I shouldn't rename it again. Sorry, that was my bad, but I should replace the location here uh, with the term suburb if the location is misspelled with two Bs as suburb. So this command should do the trick. So I'm going to redo this whole population data. And then I do the whole append and merge again. So let's open our master data set, append our using data set, the suburb data, and then add the population data. And now I see that all the variables were successfully matched from the data in the master data set to the using data set. And we now have a final complete integrated data set. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of troubles along the way when merging the data sets. So pay attention to these kind of issues, having the variables named in the same way and also ensuring that uh, all the observations are ideally matched that you want to be matched. We are only left with a final task, which is to save the the big integrated data set in this data format using the safe ice cream data, and I call it ice uh, cream data three. Usually it's a good idea to use different uh, names for files for every new file you create to avoid data losses while overwriting files. Thanks very much for staying with me and I look forward to seeing you in our next session.